Hello everybody and welcome back to City Skylines, Lake City and the Fairy Empire scenario. Where Gosh, we had something burned down right there. To be fair, I kind of want to place a dedicated fire department, just a small one, in here. Because it's really terrible, the cup, or how the fire department over here has to get into this area. So, anywho, last episode we did finish out this new area. So let's park it up. Because we do have some commercial need. A little bit of residential as well. But. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't put any water through here yet either. Let's leave it play. Because I, I understand that park doesn't have any water. But it doesn't really need any at the moment. Right there. And then down the middle. And then we connect the back end here. And technically we could do redundancy, but I'm not too worried about any cataclysmic event because I turned those off. <laughs> but like like I said, the they're really gimmicky. The the natural disasters. But they just happen a little too often. Just a little too much. And I think that's where the real trouble comes in. Is that you have a... Some sort of... Oh, we're out of money. Um, that is stupid. Why did it let me spend it? Okay, we have to reload, which means we have to redo some stuff. Okay, let's try that again. Get rid of that. Let's start... Okay, let's put this on high speed so that I make all the money I need before I spend it. That's stupid. It let me overspend. It, like, by... A lot. It let me overspend by almost 200. That is not cool. And like, yeah, I should be watching it myself. But you, you know what? You know what? Yeah, it's my fault. But still, I blame the game. <laughs> but anywho, let's let's get this back in and going real quick. <sighs> so stupid, though. That's the point in having it say that you can't spend too much, right? Right? And these parks are really the expensive thing. Especially putting them through here. But now that it's on fast speed, I should be making the money nearly as fast as I'm spending it. Nearly. Keep an eye on it. What did we spend that made us lose so much? Huh. Or did it go into the night and we went negative for some reason? You know what we can do? We can actually zone this up. Like that. There we go. So that'll start getting us some income. And we'll again put offices on this side. And then we'll have this area for anything extra. So how's all the coverage, by the way? Medical kind of dies off on that corner. So does fire, so does police. We should probably move them to the city center here. Because, well, that would be just more effective in general. <laughs> so, 
We'll plan that out in just a second here, though. Because that will take up quite a bit of room. These are... How deep are those? Those are four, right? Yeah. Or it looks like it. Yeah, they're four deep. The hospital's eight, which means that between two blocks, I can have all of them. So yeah, okay. I think I know how I'm going to do that. But let's get the resi... Or we're not done parking. What am I doing? Not put the cart before the horse. Which is a bad idea only in the sense that you're obstructing the horse's view. So it's going to be a lot more skittish. So. Because you're telling it to walk towards this object. Of which then it's going to push, but unless you train it, like, very specifically to do something like that for a long time, it's going to be probably quite skittish about it. Not to mention, if anything were to jump out to scare the horse, oh man, would it get scared, and then now it's running around blindly. What? No water? Oh. We need more water. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. We'll throw in another water tower up here. In fact, right on that. There we go. We... I know we have the budget a little lower on that, too, right? No, we have it at 100%. Okay, well, I... We just needed more water. Um... And that equals the sewage treatment. Excuse me just one second. With all the pre-recording, it gets really, really warm in the office. So, I forgot to turn the fan on. <laughs> just a simple ceiling fan. But that air moving helps out so much. Okay, let's get these in. So like that. And let's get these in. A lot of houses are moving in for how much demand there was. Hmm. Oh, we do need a school over here too. And that needs to be pretty centralized as well. So, you know what? Let's make the city center. So, I do want you right off the main road. Then we will have... You know what? Let's just pull it out to the normal distance and we'll figure it out from there. But we will need... the power connected correctly. So let's pause that for a second. We'll move the police there. Actually, I'm going to have to pull this out for the fire because I want it back to back. And right there for the fire. So that should be a lot more centralized. So everybody should be completely covered. Just connect that like that real quick. We'll get rid of this. We may do something over here, but for now. Yeah, for now, we'll just have it like that. We can play it again. Okay, so. And this really is a main street because of this cargo station. Everything gets supplied by it. So... Yeah, everything gets supplied by it. Oh, did I put any buses in here? I didn't. Oh, I'm I'm just a pooper. They need buses. Okay, bus line. On the farthest end. We'll say... If we say every other. Right there, right there, right... Yeah, every other is good. There. 
And then go back. I think. And I think right here would benefit from that little tricky trick of a road going off to the side. No, I want it. Whoa, what the? How did that work? Okay, let's try to do this appropriately. Let's reduce the elevation thing. No, because I don't want it up that high. Oh, dear. Okay, well, let's maybe start from right here. And go across. Whoa. Okay, that obviously does not work. But if we did something like that, yes, that flattened the terrain quite more appropriately. Oops, and I put water everywhere. Hmm. But that should have the buses now do that. Yes. Yes, okay. Very good. And the road is a little wonky, but what are you going to do about it? I don't know why it's bumping it up so much, but yeah, apparently that's a thing. But then the other residential will have on the other far side. And there. There. Are you not as long? Oh, because, okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, it's fine. There. And return. And again, we want a little tricky trick of a road that comes out here. And then we want, come on, out this way, already occupied. Okay, and turn that around. And there we go. That way the bus can immediately turn around right there. I think we'll, we need to wait for one more bus to get there though. Yep, there it goes. It auto-changed. Now then, we want... Just next to this one. Because that's kind of the idea of how this is. Stop there. Stop there. And then return. Just on the far sides of the commercial. And then you... Do the same thing. Okay, I guess you're you're gonna make the same exact stop as one of the other ones, but that's fine because then they can kind of have a choice. <laughs> then we will put right there, and you will go down into the office area, and then we'll have the other one in a second. But let's recolor these real quick. Now that we have them all in, you are going to be a green on the left side, because that's what you are, is you're a green on the left side. You are a green on the right side. Maybe a little lighter too. Then you're good, and then you, technically your industry, so we're gonna, we'll make you orange. How about that? Okay, well, technically an orange on the left side. That makes you kind of a pasty brown, actually. <laughs> okay, and there we go. We have a bus lines going through the area. So hopefully that helps out. That would actually reduce traffic in a in a city that already has very little traffic. <laughs> Anywho, we do need other you other things like a school. The high school is so the this one is really really powerful. But I really do want this one because 
It just gets the entire area well. So, and then that right next to them. And then a college. We'll put the college over here. And that all kind of lines up too, which is good. Oh God, I, I saw no money. Or I mean, I saw, <sighs> I saw the, the fact that I couldn't build it. And I was thinking, oh crap, I ran out of money again, didn't I? But thankfully, no, I didn't. So, okay, let's connect that up. Let's continue playing it because we don't need it paused. We don't need it paused. We could have it paused, but we don't need it paused. Just cross like that. And I do believe that that's good. How did you burn down? I put a fire department that's... I had, or I had placed down a fire department. That's where all, th that's why I had extra money. Is I had, I had placed a fire department down here. Okay, so that should help that. And these actually need to be moved more centralized, like how the hospital is too. So. This little city area is actually kind of nice. Although I do want to get rid of this road. This road bug is a pain because it's right off of a main road of which we don't want people really turning off like that off of. Now the only way to get up here is to go up this road and down here, so. Which is fine. That's fine. We have so many people wanting to come up here. <laughs> Thankfully though, I'm the buses are absorbing some of that traffic, so. Gosh, that, that looks like it just needs to be bigger. And a one-way. You know what? That needs to be a one-way. And I can't change it because it's part of the ferry. Okay. Well. Because I was thinking this just needs more throughput in general, but... Hmm. I can't upgrade it at all. And that is actually getting a lot of traffic, the ferry itself. So, well, that's because we do have a lot of people coming in from out of the city to come into here. So I think that traffic is temporary now that I think about it. So we have education, we have emergency services, we have healthcare to some degree. Yep, you have a place right there which will need to be possibly upgraded at another date we do have garbage don't we yeah you should be quite nearly overloaded oh you might be able to no it looks like you might be filling up hmm no, yeah, you're filling up. We need a big one, technically. We almost have enough for one. Or we could just put another small one. I kind of like the placement of this small one, though. Mm. Or we could just put a big one up here. Which I think is the better idea. That we'll get rid of this small one and we'll just have the big one up here. So we need to wait for some money to do that though. Yeah, it gets full. So. It's, yeah, it's filling up completely now. So. We definitely need to upgrade the services in this area. Oh, that's cool. They took the side road here.
Hmm. It is making me think, though. Do we have a multi-station train? Cargo train? We don't. Cargo train terminal. Yeah, because the cargo train terminal only has the one coming out of it. Which makes me think we're going to have to have multiple cargo train terminals. One for each city. And like a central lot. Because how I said I want over here to be just all manufacturing industrial kind of thing. Well, in that case, we're going to have to need a center that has different cargo terminals that go to different places. Otherwise, I think... And all the rail lines will have to be separate, too. Because I think the rail line will get overloaded with trains at some point. Maybe. Let's see how we're doing towards the stuff. So we have... We don't have a lot of ferry traffic. Though we are trying to do as much as we can up here. Are you actually getting... You're not... You can only hold 50 people. We have a lot more than 50 people right there. This line. Holy cow. We... Yeah. <laughs> we need more. For 10 boats, I think... Uh, whoa. Hey, guys. Guys. That's that's not how this works. W guys. This... That's... Guys. That, that's not how this works. <laughs> oh dear goodness, I, I caused a monster. This is going to cause a lot of traffic over here for the time being, but it's something that needs to happen. Okay, now they're being court. Okay, they were being cordial for a second. Come on guys, you have plenty of space to be traveling around. Did you actually come in on the op opposite side? That's weird. Why'd you do that? That's interesting. Okay, some of them come in from one side, some come in from the other. That is a lot of passengers getting transferred out. Oh, but it is catching up. Okay, now we have too many ferries. I think. Yeah, now we have too many. Okay. But we did deal with all of them. So, let's pull this back down to say six and see how that gets it no it's building up again do we really get 50 people faster than these boats are going around Okay, this line. Yeah, we're starting to build up again. Okay, 10 might have been overdoing it, but... Looks like we kind of need a few more. There are a lot of people coming in. And there's still people building up at the other end. So, let's see how 8 works. Hmm... So 270. So it is reducing it. It is nighttime then again, too. I don't know. It's now starting to kind of hover around 200. Oh, there we go. Now it's decreasing. So maybe. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, the crematorium. Perfect. Because now we 
because the biggest thing about this game is getting to the point in which you can not have stuff like cemeteries and trash and uh, landfills. That's all right. So it looks like eight is about the optimal. It's going down, but it's kind of going down slowly. And I think during the day that that's going to build back up. So, because now it's all depleted. <laughs> Yet enough people just came in to fill up a boat, quite literally. How do boats that big only ha allow 50 people on it? Like, I would think that they could hold 100. So, it's getting to be daytime, so this is the start of the rush hour. So, that's why it is building up. But it's not building up terribly quickly. And as you see, most of the boats are actually full. Going around. Every now and then they're not, but for the most part, they are. Not so much coming from the other side, but definitely this side is getting full. So yeah, it looks like eight's about the optimal. It We have a lot of full fairies most of the time, but it's not overwhelming. So, all this pre-recording, my throat dries out so quickly. I have a break coming up, so I can refill my water then, but for now... One up there, or one down there, one up here. One over here. And let's actually start emptying these. Because I'm emptying those, it cut their service pattern, which is good because now I can see where where needs more. Okay, right there. Up here needs a bit of service. Just right there works. And in here somewhere. I really don't want to put it right there. <laughs> yeah, right there will work. Okay, so we have all of their covered. So but yeah, was yeah, I was yeah, I was right that that cuts the coverage. So let's put one over here. And we will put one I kind of want it to mirror it. So we will pull this out. Oh. Well. We'll flip that. So it's not one way, that this is one way, but that's for the bus to turn around. So, facing that way, we are having an issue with power. Yes, power is abysmal. <laughs> but that's fine, we have plenty of, we have plenty of monies to be able to extend power out. Why they didn't tell me we needed power earlier, I have no idea, but there we go. Now, does that cover it all? Kinda. It it does a good job. We'll we'll see how two does over here. We have two of seven, two of seven. But we do have a lot of hearses that are probably going to bring, be bringing... Never mind. That is all done. Over on the mainland, though, for sure. Because these were... These had a lot of dead bodies. <laughs> so our crematoriums might be a little overwhelmed. Let's not empty that one. But let's turn you off, too, so you don't build up. So... Oops, not that. How did that work? 
Oops. Yes, big city. Goals. We get the power plant next. We are getting... We doubled how many people we had go through. <laughs> but... That was the timer, so that is the end of the episode. We do need to build the city up a bit more, and I do have plans for that. First, we need to actually buy this, because we do need a production center that doesn't go through here that to be able to get to the train station. But then we need to, I think, a city right here... And a city right here. And keep them separate. Actually, I'm thinking... No, because this lake is higher. I'm pretty sure. I think the water is higher on this side. So I don't want it flowing through unless I put a dam. Hmm. Well, that's an idea for the next episode. But, well, no. The idea is... is for a fairy to go through. If I can't have a fairy go through, it kind of kills the point. So, that will be about it for the episode then. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel. And do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. The water needs to fill a little bit more right there. Right? Or is it actually flowing out? I can't tell. But if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, no, it's not. So leave those in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And check out the description below to see how you can help support the channel and or catch me when I live stream. But, now that, but for now, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.